you're on. Welcome everybody and uh, welcome folks to Wall Street Winning. Do you like winning? Well, of course, I think everybody wants to be a winner. Well, let me show you how we can help you become a great winner. Another question. You want to earn extra income, let's say two to $4,000 per week. Of course, everybody would like to do that. So what is, uh, what is the offer? How can that be done? Well, we're going to give you a presentation today that's going to show you how to make investments where you can generate two to four thousand per week uh, on your assets. What does that look like? Kind of looks like this. What we do is every week we publish opportunities for investing. In the example here, for example, uh, was published this weekend, over the weekend, on the 2nd of April. And we're suggesting the system came up with the opportunity to to invest in cyber, CYBR, happens to be a uh, cybersecurity company, which is pretty hot right now based on what's happening uh, all over the place. So this came up as an opportunity, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to buy some stock, 1,000 shares, and then we're going to sell, STO, sell to open a call, which is an option, and we're going to sell to open a put on this stock with the... Uh, plan that this uh, stock will be called on 4-7, which is Friday, and the put will expire. So how does that all work? Uh, end result is if we make that investment, and these are the prices uh, as executed on Monday, April 3rd, which is, uh, uh, you know, after they were published, and the system came up and showed us exactly what prices were happening in the market. So it's really stock market live, and we'll, we'll show it live a little later on in the presentation. But here the price we got was $50.87. That was our purchase price. We sold the call at $5.50. Uh, strike, we got $1.10. <clears throat> so that's a positive in our account. And then we sold a $50 put. You see the strike there at the 50 we got 38 cents for that, so that's a positive into the account. And then if the stock gets called, we're going to get $50.50 on April 7th. So we get our money back, and in seven days, we will have made about a little over 2%. But look at the dollar amount. We made $1,000 on this, this particular uh, position. Um, and basically, Monday through Friday, but we say that's seven days. We know your money is sitting idle on Saturday and Sunday, so we said, okay, we're not going to cheat, so to say, and, and just do it over five days. So over seven days, it's a little over 2%. So we got three of them that were published. And the second one, if you did it, uh, we got about 4%, a little better opportunity. The reason here is the options were, were, were more uh, productive. So, uh, and this happens to be uh, stock here is FCX, which is an oil patch. They're an uh, oil service company, drillers, produce oil, uh, which right now is, is on the upturn. And the third one is FAS, which happens to be an ETF in the financial area. So if you would have done those two also at about this level, uh, you could see the, the bottom one would have had about, little, again, over 2%. So if you added those three uh, numbers up, 2,000, 1,000, and 1,000, you see we got a little over 4,000. The total was $4,500 on a $150,000 investment, and this is over seven days. So we're already close to our $4,000 a month uh, just in this one uh, opportunity or this opportunity week, let's call it. So let's go forward here then and see what, uh, uh, how this all works. Here's also, I just uh, <clears throat> wanted to indicate that if you executed this, uh, this plan, and here we have <clears throat> a lower amount because we're using cash to cover the put, you see that the numbers basically are uh, get cut in half. 
And so you get your $2,000, $2,200 on $154,000 uh, cash investment. So it depends on what kind of account uh, uh, you're able to trade. So that account is without margin, is that what you're saying? Right, that's a cash account. Gotcha. Back it up here. This is the cash account, cash covered puts. Okay. So we just cut the, the quantities in half to, to basically employ the same uh, investment amount, 150, 455,000. So how is this all done? Well, it's done to data that we publish at Wall Street Winning. And the goal is we want to publish stock and option data that allows the investor to experience a positive result and consistently generate monthly income. So the key here is a positive result and consistently. This is not just a, a one-time guess at a stock that goes up. This is something you do continuously uh, on a monthly basis. And the how is, is by using what to buy and when to buy information as published daily by Wall Street Winning. This what and when is based on trade technology uh, developed myself when I'm drinking over many, many years. So that's how we're going to try to generate that income. So what's the strategy in doing that? In generating that two to four thousand dollars each week? Well, we're going to buy a stock, as I said before, and then sell an at the money or slightly out of the money call option, which I showed in that example. And we'll go over again an example again once you understand this. And then we're going to sell a put at a strike below the current market price with the low probability of assignment. One of the keys to success is to put these trades on and have them complete each week. We want the stock to be called, we want the put to be expired. So the mathematics behind selecting what options will try to do this for us, and especially with the put, a low probability of assignment. We do not want to be assigned. Now, what's our, the outlook? We expect this stock to trade in a channel so that the call is assigned and the put expires worthless. And how, you know, how can you expect that? It's part of the algorithm that is selecting the win uh, to get in the stock. Uh, now, if the stock or this trade is not complete, we're going to manage it to an exit by selling calls until we get called out. So there is a continuous way to maintain a positive result uh, over time, since the option market is very uh, liquid and there are opportunities every week to generate uh, uh, additional income off of a position. We go back to this example. Uh, you can see that here we have puts on margin. Here's again where we're buying the stock, selling the, the options. So we bought a thousand shares, sold ten calls. So there's ten contracts, an option. Uh, each contract uh, uh, holds or manages a hundred shares. So there's a ten to one relationship. Um, and the strike price is what we're willing to sell the stock at. So if you buy it at $50.87, willing to sell it at $50.50, and you say already, well, that's already 37 cents below what I bought it, I'm taking a loss. No, I'm getting a dollar ten when I sell that call. So that 37 cents is recovered immediately when I sell that in the money. It's called in the money because my strike price is lower than the current price. So I get that 37 cents back immediately out of the dollar ten. So if you subtract it out, there's where the difference will be as far as the actual premium that we're getting for our, our call. And then the put you can see is at fifty dollars. It's trading at fifty dollars and eighty-seven cents. So we're getting thirty-eight cents for that. So you can see that we are making money on both trades, positive result, and a key a key uh, piece of information on this chart, you see something called break even. Now, what does that mean, break even? Well, our break even is $49.39, okay? So we already know what range, and this is the channel that we're, we're, we're operating in. I mean, we buy in at 50, the market right now is $50.87. We don't lose money until it goes below $49.39. So we already have a dollar over a dollar cushion, dollar 50 cent cushion here of the stock going down. So this is a key 
if uh, the stock does go down, we know where our break even is at all times. And now we know if it doesn't get called up, the next cycle is we manage to the break even. We're not going to be right 100% of the time, so we always know what that positive number has to be uh, in, in any particular trade. So that's the, the key in that, and then again you can see if everything completes, on the right we say their CO is call open, put open, and the return in that period of time is right around 75-76%. So that is also a key number in the sense of going over time. Uh, how well um, the system provides us the, the right information. Now, maybe you want an extra income of 10000 a week. Well, how do you get 10000 Well, all we have to do is leverage what we're doing. In other words, we, I showed three trades. What if we multiply that by three? We had, what, $5,000? That would be fifteen a week, right? So, to get extra income or extra, get to 10000 a week, we just have to add more, more trades, so you need a, a larger uh, account. Uh, and you're able to basically go into maybe five, six equities to generate uh, 10000 a week. Now, there's a plan that we have uh, called a PRO, and what the PRO plan does is it, it publishes a model portfolio of 10 or more equities that are selected by Wall Street winning by the system with the goal of generating $10,000 uh, return each week on an asset base of a million dollars. So you can see that's about 1%, right? We did that uh, every week. Now, the opportunities are published each week along with the planned trades for any trades that are open at the end of the week. The current average is at 9972, so we're very close to our $10,000 average uh, for the pro. You want an extra income of $15,000 a week. But well, we've found ways if we are able to, uh, let's say, manage or uh, monitor the, the, the trades on a daily basis, uh, we have a plan called the Pro X. And it executes the pro published trades in a client account with authorization. So uh, we have clients right now, and what they have done is they've given us authorization to do the, the Wall Street winning trades as published in their account. So they're executed and monitored with the goal of generating $15,000 a week. So we are adding some more, I'll call it uh, intelligence, timing, uh, so that we can generate a, a higher return. Uh, and again, on an asset base of a million dollars. Here, the current average weekly or current weekly average is almost nineteen thousand dollars a week. So we are basically able to uh, apply the intelligence not only from the system because there are trades during the week that might uh, that might be uh, suggested and used uh, in a client account. So there is an opportunity then to really leverage a million dollars. Uh, and try to get an average of 15000 a week. So how much do these plans cost? How can you participate? Well, we've come up with four different plans, Basic, Plus, Pro, and Pro X. The Basic plan is for the starter. It's for the person maybe who is just new to options, maybe has done a few options. And what it does, you have two alternatives. You can just get the information from the website, the daily signals, uh, and, and a hot list that we allow you to track 10 stocks, that's only $99 a month. Uh, for another 200 bucks, you can follow or track the done for you. Okay, this is where Wall Street Winning provides a trade setup once a week for the basic, one trade a week. So you can follow that, and if you follow that one, just think of one of the trades we had up, you know, it was probably $1,000. Uh, so if you did that four times a month, that's $4,000 and you know, the fee is 300. So the leverage or the amount that's you know, being, I'll call it, uh, you know, pay to Wall Street winning for the information is very small compared to the opportunity. So we try to keep, keep it in, in line so that, you know, you have the opportunity to do very well at a very low level here 
and generate a, a significant return. And you know, basic is probably where you have maybe around fifty thousand dollars to invest. So you know, you're starting out small. The next level up is called plus. Uh, there we provide we you know fifty uh, stocks in your hot list. And you get uh, access to some more information that we call weeklies. There are equities that are kind of on a weekly buy, buy sell schedule, uh, and there are you know sometimes very significant opportunities to invest uh, uh, for the week, so to say. And for you know adding done for you, we provide three, publish three, uh, uh, setups, stock setups that the system has published and allow you to, to watch those three uh, and go and execute those three. So for $1,500 a month, you get three. Again, the opportunity, uh, like I, you know, I get in the example, uh, one week we had $4,000 for a week or $5,000. Again, if you did that four times, that's $20,000 a month. $1,500 fee we think is very uh, affordable because you're getting the information to do, uh, to do significantly well. And here your account size might be about 150,000. That was the example that I used. I used 150,000, kind of on a plus plan, had three equities, and I was able to generate a, a significant return. Then the Pro and Pro X. Uh, the Pro is 10,000 and the Pro X is 15. You say, why so much? Well, look at the opportunity we're providing. Uh, in the done for you, we will actually I'll call it publish a model portfolio so we're tracking a million million dollar account and actually publishing the trades for that account so you get to walk in our footsteps so you can do what we're doing in a, in a million dollar account and generate ten thousand a week so that would be forty thousand for the month uh, approximately uh, invest a million dollars again a significant opportunity for you to get a, a, a great return. And the Pro X is the step up where the basically the uh, uh, setups and the trades are done directly in your account uh, with proper authorization. We never ask for anybody's money. This is not a mutual fund. This is not a, a hedge fund. Okay? You never give us any, mo any money to invest. It's always kept in your brokerage account. You have total control. Uh, you decide, uh, you know, when you, if you want to stop, you decide if you want to stop. If you don't think we're providing the value uh, to get you these types of returns, then you can say, let's stop, quit tomorrow. And that's the key, okay? We never ask for your money. A lot of firms out there have really taken a lot of people to the cleaners because once they got their money, you know, they're, they're doing something behind the scenes that you have absolutely no control over. Uh, here you're in total control. All we're doing is we're executing the trades and publishing with your authorization. So these are some great opportunities and great returns. Now, who am I? People say, uh, you know, who's Rob Grinke? How does he come in front of us and say we can do all of this? Well, I have a bachelor's of mathematics degree from the University of Minnesota and I developed the communication software for uh, Apollo 7 and 8. I have even got a picture of it. Here's Apollo 8, 1968. <clears throat> it was a six-day mission, so I got to spend uh, these two weeks in Houston during this flight. Uh, because we, our group, we were from Sperry Univac at the time, we were responsible for the communication software when this thing went to the moon. And remember, this is the first time that a spacecraft circled the moon. That was a trial run for Apollo 11. And the key is, if you go back and look at the history, these flights were occurring every six months, not three years apart. Every six months, we were sending up a rocket with people on it, okay? If you think back, I mean, there weren't that many tragedies. I mean, Apollo 13 almost was a, was a tragedy, if you follow that. But uh, it's kind of amazing when I think back of what, what what we really did at that time. Uh, and we didn't have computers like laptops or, or wireless or you know, uh, you know, uh, fiber optics communications. We had low speed. Uh, the communications that came from this satellite, call it a satellite, this, uh, the, the spacecraft, was tracked around the world, had tracking stations. It was sent back 
uh, to Goddard, okay, Maryland, Washington, DC, uh, back to Houston, and our, our line speed was 192,000 bits per second. Now you have gigabytes per second. <laughs> we wireless in this room, for example, is unbelievable. And you know, we did it with, with very little. Did it with very little. Got the job done. Very amazing. Uh, <clears throat> so that was interesting. I also worked as some you know, top secret communications for, uh, for the CIA. Uh, I was at NTR Content for a major portion of my career, and I came up with something called the Communications Networking System. This was before the internet, a packet-based system for corporate networks. Uh, I'm also a laureate winner of one of 12 NCR laureate people, author of five books on stock and options investing, and I'm the author of the algorithms and the trade technology that's now being used uh, by Wall Street winning. So, uh, so the stuff that we're finding here is based on all my work that I've done for over 25 years uh, working with investing. And by the way, here's the control center in Houston. We were in the back room over here. These displays were being run by five IBM mainframes. <laughs> we had three communication computers that fed the data to the, to the mainframes. Triple redundancy. One online, two backup. Everything was redundant. Switch in about 200 milliseconds. One fit. So it was a quite an amazing operation back then. This is now. So the same room is still there. If you just look at the wall, it's changed. They put all the, I think those are all the badges for all the flights, all the spacecraft. There wasn't many up. <laughs> Same wall, look at that. That hasn't changed. It's amazing. I mean, you know, time has gone by. And all that's changed is the equipment. You see all the flat panel displays and no more CRTs. <laughs> it's kind of amazing, really. <clears throat> so again, do you like winning? Heck I'm yeah. sure you do. So to win, you've got to find the right stocks to invest in and know when to make the investment. And that's what we're all about. We're about finding the right ones and finding your win. And I've been doing this for a long time, over uh, 20 years investing. I've written software for this over uh, 15 years. And uh, now it's implemented here at Wall Street Winning. Uh, we apply the technology to find the right stock. And then we use the algorithms, the black box algorithm, to determine when uh, to make the investment with a high probability of success. So mathematics is totally involved. This is not just a, a guess or throw a dart at a, at a board of stocks. This is mathematics done every night. And we process about 8,000 stocks and ETFs, generate between 100 and 150 buy opportunities every day. And you can decide which ones that you want to you know, you follow. Uh, anything that's on your hot list or watch list, you'll get an email alert saying, go take a look. Here's an opportunity for you. You might want to uh, might want to invest in it. <clears throat> and then stock fundamentals, charts, signals, short or longer term, a high probability of success option signals are provided at request. So if you go to the website, you can look at any stock you may already have in your portfolio or look at all the opportunities every day. Uh, to make a, uh, a, a, a good investment. Uh, this is not a Ponzi scheme. Everybody knows Bernie Madoff, right? He offered 1% a month. But what did he do? He took pe all people's money <laughs> and he started paying back uh, the earlier investors with the money that he was getting from the new investors. It's called a Ponzi scheme. He indicated he was using, using options to generate his return. Okay. Turns out, if he just did what he said he was doing, he could have been successful. Uh, and I don't know why he did. He knew he was smart enough, but maybe he didn't. Uh, didn't you know? Once he got caught into doing the Ponzi scheme, that was too easy because he had thousands of people throwing money at him, okay? And funds and man, fund man, money managers throwing money at him, saying, "Here, invest it for me." So really, his scheme was you know pulling in billions of dollars. Uh, but we publish stock and option trades that you execute in your account to achieve an average return of 1% a week. And we show you how to be in the money with done for you trade setups we publish every week. So the key is you have an opportunity to do very well in the stock market by following the numbers, okay? Following what's, what's happening. Or better yet, we can execute the published trades in your account 
with the ProX plan, and we never take your money. You're always in control. So just let the Wall Street winning pros do it for you. They can do a good job and get you an excellent return. We want you to go up this ladder from basic plus to pro to pro X. It's the, our goal is to make you richer. That's our goal. And anybody who has a little bit of money can start on that path. Let's go to the stock market because we said this is stock market live. So let's take a look at uh, what that really means. So we need to end this. What I put up here right now is what's called a hot list. I put up my hot list in one of the accounts. <clears throat> and so you can see here we have Apple and Boeing and Cisco. Now this is live. This is market data. This is what's happening right now. Every once in a while you'll see them kind of flicker a little bit because the stock prices are being updated. So the dark green is means they're up more than 1%. The kind of lighter green means they're up not quite 1%. The gray means it's flat. Stock really hasn't moved. And the real dark red is, is they're down. Cisco is down more than 1%. So that's darker red than GE, which is only down 0.25%. So those are the stock prices right now. <clears throat> and under each block there, what you see is the current state. In other words, the algorithm is processing these stocks every night. And there are two indicators, two alerts or indicators below each stock, and you'll see some saying hold, hold, wait, hold, we got GE, hold, buy, hold, buy. So GE right now is an opportunity. It's in a hold state, but the algorithm says it's okay to buy, okay? Now we have Microsoft, green sell. So there's a sell alert on Microsoft if you were tracking the weekly uh, signals. Uh, we've got SDS, it's also hold, buy. Trying to look, we got some pure buys here somewhere. And this is just my list. We can go again. We got a buy down here on SCO. <clears throat> so let's go back up to uh, back up to the top here and say, okay, GE. Let's go look at the whole buy. What does that mean? So if I just press on that indicator, it's going to show me me. It's going to show me the data. These are the fundamentals on GE. One of the keys to success is you have to invest in good companies. So we've come up, or actually you know, come up with a whole set of fundamentals that we filter every equity on to make sure that we are, and we grade them, we call them conservative, moderate, or aggressive, and then we have all of those companies and stocks that fail our fundamentals test, and we call them unlimited. Unlimited risk. In the sense that you don't know what might happen tomorrow in those companies. Their fundamentals are so bad that I would basically say stay away. There's no reason that you want to even step your foot into that hole because you may never get out of it once you buy it. So it's, you want to be very careful with the equities that we buy. So the fundamentals here that show us uh, exactly uh, for GE what this company looks like. Uh, big market cap. On the right there, 257 billion. Look at the volume per day, almost 30 million shares traded a day. And what's the price? The last price close was 29.88. So you can see that's a that's a that's a big big company. Uh, they have a dividend yield. Uh, one of the elements on the left there, you see buy limit, last close. Uh, the buy limit is a again calculation that I've come up with to try to, to, to determine when would you, you know, when would you buy a stock, at what level, and when would you start staying away. So the first thing to recognize here is that the last close and the current price is to the right of that. You just saw it got updated. There's a quote, 44 at 1058. Uh, so it's currently trading right there. It's down, as we said earlier. It was a big red, so we're we have a candlestick there, I'm kind of laying on its side. So it opened this morning at uh, $29.90. The low was 
the high was 29.91, and then the current price is 29.83. So it's a little bit below. What it's five cents below where it closed yesterday, up on the left, or 29.88. And lo and behold, the buy, the, the close yesterday is a little bit below the buy limit. And these are this is one of the criteria that makes this a buy today. Okay, it's not only the how false it is to the buy limit, but where it is in the range that uh, this stock is going to trade in. And we have calculated kind of a, a range right next to that candlestick on, on the price. It's called the 1580. And uh, it says sell if it goes below 29 or 2871 and sell above 3132. So that's the window of opportunity. Uh, Any time that it gets below the lower right number, left number, or above the number on the right, then you know, the system will say it's time to sell, time to take your profit or, or whatever happens uh, to the bank. Let's go take a look at the chart. Again, very dynamic. I press the chart button. So here we have GE. You can see what's happened over time. There's, there's been two previous buy-sell indications. So we have 100% win rate so far, <clears throat> average return of 16%. And we're in a hold buy. So you can look back, the, the buy was issued there in February. You can see that the stock came down, it started to recover, and a buy was issued, and now it's waiting to uh, exit for the sell, and you'll notice there's two lines, a green line at the top and a red line at the bottom. <clears throat> those, <clears throat> those are the exit lines. So, so the uh, algorithm has already moved down to sell at gain, sell at loss, to prepare, or, you know, to, to basically force an exit down later in time. We don't want to stay in this thing forever. It's not going anywhere. Uh, so the algorithm is going to try to uh, make sure that we get out, and hopefully we can still get out at a, at a, at a gain. You'll notice that the buy signal and the current price are almost identical. So it's nothing has it's gone up a little bit, down a little bit, and it's trading fairly flat. So I can now go back to. Uh, well, maybe people want to say, what is this weekly thing? I'm going to show you the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart. That just happens to give you more signals. The weekly is based on a shorter time frame, one to two weeks on the algorithm. So you can see I have many more buys and sells. Uh, and it's currently, again, also in a, in a hold. So the last sell, there was a red. It was, it was a loss. We almost got back in at that price, and now it's we're above our, our, our current buy by you know a few cents, I guess the way like so. Uh, so you can see where that uh, opportunity is right now. So that was GE. I just imagine, think you got eight thousand stocks like this where you can look at every one of them, decide which is the best one. But that's that's a lot of work. Okay. What we want to show you is back to my signals here. The system automatically does all the filtering for you. It's loading the data right now. There it is. So here are the set of buy opportunities that were produced last night. And they're kind of organized by, I'll call it target return, this number right to the right here. Target APR, you'll notice that as you look down, the number starts going down. So we, we've kind of put the highest return opportunity at the top. And this is done every night. So this list changes every day. This is, you know, the thing that is so beautiful in the sense that it does all of this work for you. All you need to now is decide which kind of company do you want to invest in. And you can also see immediately which stocks do or do not have options. We've got 
all the green buttons have options. There's kind of a pink button that says there are no options. So if you're interested in getting into something with options, then you just you know you ignore those. Uh, I said there were uh, ways to filter it. Let's go to uh, say show me the conservative. I'm very or the person is so nervous of getting into the stock market. Opportunities that are conservative. So there is the C, the hot list C there. These are all conservative, meaning they meet the fundamentals that uh, we feel are much more conservative. The, I'll call it the option returns, if you're in the options field, which we are, uh, are also going to be less. But again, it's, it's risk reward. Okay? You have to accept you know, a smaller return for, you know, if you have a lower risk opportunity. And so it, that comes kind of with the, with the territory. Um, so you can see now we have all of these opportunities. And lo and behold, there are even a couple here. Well, we have public storage as a member of the S&P 500. We also have one there, Checkpoint Software, as a member of the NASDAQ 100. In fact, we can filter by. Let's show me any stock that's in the S&P 500, okay? Just show me those stocks. Sure, I mean, if you're saying, wow, you know, the Standards & Poor's done a good job selecting good companies, then if we just looked at those, here are the buy opportunities in the S&P 500 right now, today. These are the buy opportunities. Quite a bunch of them, okay? And there's some moderates in there. There's a couple of aggressive. Uh, so you can see there are opportunities looking at the market in a number of different ways. Let's say the Dow 30. Are there any Dow 30 opportunities today? I don't know if there's one in there or not. No results. So there's no Dow 30 stocks that are in a buy today. Let's go to the NASDAQ 100. So this is a uh, the NASDAQ, you sure is it the, you know, basically the, a lot more, you know, call it high tech companies in the NASDAQ, and the 100 is, you know, is a group of 100 companies that it's selected to kind of represent the entire NASDAQ market. So it'll be a broad based bunch of sectors in the NASDAQ. So here you can see, what, three different kinds Mylan, Cerner, Checkpoint Software. Well, Checkpoint software is probably self-descriptive. It's probably in the software business. Myelin, I believe, that is a that's a uh, pharmaceutical. What about the CERN? I don't know who that is. Let me go to the fundamentals. Okay, and check on profile. Here it is. Oh, they're in the healthcare industry. Okay. So now I can exactly find out what these companies do. I'm not going to just invest in the stock symbol. I don't want to invest in something that I know, maybe know something about. So here's Cerner. They design, develop, install, support healthcare information technology, healthcare devices, hardware, solutions. So they're, uh, looks like they're kind of providing information technology for uh, the healthcare industry. So they're not a pharmaceutical and they're not a Johnson & Johnson. They're not providing you know, bandages and gowns and what have you. It looks like they're providing the, I'll call it the uh, hardware and software and, and, and technology to basically track uh, information about people in the healthcare realm. So that's what that company does. So now you can find out what that, now that we know what that company does, we can go back and look at say, okay, is that one that we might want to, want to invest in? So uh, let's go to the fundamentals. And this is a moderate. Sure enough, it's an M2. See up in the right there? Moderate 2. Well, why is it a moderate 2? It's based on the fundamentals. If we look at uh, a couple numbers here, to the right we see quarterly earnings, all positive. Very good. Uh, big company, market cap, almost 20 billion. 3 million shares a day. Another key element, revenue growth. They're growing their revenue 6.5% a year. Excellent. Makes it an excellent company. We want to see companies that are growing their revenue. And then we have what we call bare cash, which is negative. And that's what makes it a moderate. If bare cash was positive, this would be a conservative type company. So they've got a negative 
cash balance in a sense they're probably servicing debt for their infrastructure and delivery system. Another key is earnings date. We publish the earnings date in 30 days. May 4th is when the, they're going to announce earnings. So if we decided to invest in this company, we know at least, okay, about a month from now, uh, we need to be aware that they might announce earnings and that could affect their stock price, up or down. We don't know what that might be, but we maybe can do trading, uh, an option trade ahead of that. So let's go check the options in this guy. Check the income strategy. Blow it up a little bit. Okay, so now here is the dynamic stock market live information for CERN, the options on the income strategy. So the price right now up there, it says $58.63. So this is what's happening right now in the marketplace. Uh, the uh, options that are available are out to April 21st. We could sell a call, a covered call at 57, 50, 60, 62 and a half, or we could sell puts at 55, 57. So there are two and a half dollar increments on the options. And the system now, when it came up with this table here, it did all the calculations to find out what is the best risk reward if we're going to do an options trade for CERN. So if we buy at 58.63, based on what the market is offering right now, it's suggesting the 57.50 call and the $55 put because that's what the market is getting right now. That's what the options market is paying, $1.68, and we're going out 18 days. So this also indicates that this is the first option date available between now and the first option date is uh, April 21st. So that's the key. Uh, you know, you gotta wait 18 days, but you can still do very well in the sense that if it gets called, you buy the stock and sell that particular call. And you notice it's highlighted in green. That's the one the system is suggesting based on all the mathematical calculations behind the price, the momentum in the stock, uh, and the premium you know, being, being offered uh, is 3.3 uh, risk reward, about 1.5% in 30 days if it gets called, or about four, a little over 4% if this option expires. What does it mean if the option expires? It expires if on April 21st, the, the, the price of this stock is below 57.50. So that means, uh, you know, it, it has come down and as I showed in that example, we already know if we did this, what our, what our break even might be. So we can, you know, we can sustain a, a downward, you know, uh, momentum in the stock and still not lose any money uh, but because we have option premium uh, to work with. So this would be the options then for this particular equity. Uh, interesting, very interesting. So then this is available for every company, any company. Uh, let me go to, just to show, uh, there's also a Thing that you can go look at and say, well, if you don't find the, the stock you want in your list, so somebody give me a stock somewhere. Apple. Hmm? Apple. Apple. Well, that we already saw. Maybe wait. Is that a good symbol? Uh, Netflix. Netflix. NFLX, right? You type that in. NFLX. You like Netflix. Here's Netflix. What is happening with Netflix? It's a monthly wait. It's a conservative, or it's a moderate two. Nice earnings, negative bear cash. Yeah. Check the options. Now let's go to the chart. So now you can go to. There's Netflix. Whoa, it's trading way up. Look at that. So we're waiting, waiting. Okay, the system got out there beginning end of early February. Well, yeah, end of January, middle of January felt that at that downturn, it might be going down. So it's going to wait now for an opportunity to get in. So that's why it's in a wait state, which suggests that you also might want to wait. This is trading almost at its highs. Because it could go down tomorrow. It could go down $10 very fast. That's the issue that we always want to 
be aware of. So here's the calls and puts them kind of on uh, Netflix. I mean, it's trading at 145. So it picked right, you know, in the money, 145. Uh, about a four percent return in four days. So this is this has what we call weekly options. This these options expire this Friday. Well, that's the nice thing about Netflix. They're so big, so heavily traded that they have weekly options. All the big companies, in fact, all the Dow 30 stocks have weekly options. So you can always every week. I cannot call out decide what to do the next week. And you can go to this table and ask it to tell you which one of these uh, strike prices, you know, fit uh, the data at the moment. So here you have a $146 call. It's trading at $145.56. So it's a little bit, you know, it's really at the money. That's what ATM stands for there. ATM is at the money. OTM is out of the money. ITM is in the money. So it says sell the 146 call and the 145 put. You add those two together, it's almost two dollars, dollar ninety cents total. If you did that <clears throat> that trade. So you can look at any equity <clears throat> that. You know,